What's up, fellow collectors? Welcome back to the MIB Master Toy Museum. I'll be your curator today. Guys, I have a fun one for you. A real barn burner, if you will. Collecting versus hoarding. What's the difference? What are the tie-ins? Why is one considered uh, fun and healthy and the other one is considered uh, depression or forms of, of uh, mental health. I don't know. Why are they been constantly connected to one another? But we'll tackle those questions and much more in today's Hot Topic segment, Collecting versus hoarding. Guys, I've been called a hoarder uh, loosely, maybe playfully, a few times um, in my uh, collecting career. And I've done what, you know, pretty much any collector will do. You shrug it off. You say it's uh, it's the joy of collecting um Every figure has a connection with me. You know, all of the, the, the right things to say as a collector. And things that you, you know, that that's true. I, I am passionate about it. Uh, I do have a connection to all my figures. Yes, do I have a lot of figures? Yes. Um, have I seen all my figures lately? No, I forgot a few. That's why I have a few up here right now. And, and that's another whole... Uh, 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 um, situation that makes collecting so fun. You have so many, you forget you forget what you have, and then you see it and you say, "Oh man, I remember this. I remember my Blanca. I forgot how cool that figure was when he first came out back in the early 1990s." I need another Blanca. See, guys, that's is that hoarding? Because <laughs> I want it. I want multiples. We don't know, but one thing we do know, one thing we do know is that hoarding or some forms of hoarding, we've seen it and I have seen it as early as a few days ago at Target and you have these Star Wars figures. Um, this guy had all these Star Wars figures in his basket, his shopping cart. And the other guy was arguing with him why he, he couldn't part with a few of them. I guess the other guy said he had, he had been to, you know, multiple targets and they were out and he finally came to this particular target and they had them. But the problem was they did and they didn't. They did. But this other guy was stockpiling, hoarding, or whatever you want to call it. He, was, he had a ton of them in his shopping cart. And the other guy couldn't understand why he couldn't part with a few. He wanted a Darth Vader, and I think he said he needed a... Uh, I want to say he needed a um, Chewbacca or something. One of those, but definitely a Darth Vader. And he couldn't understand why the guy couldn't part with it. And the guy told him, um, it's not happening. Uh, I got here first. Um, this is the part that got me stained. Uh, this is the part that kind of, you, you know, it's like, oh, it makes you see a flash of red. The guy told him, listen, it's not my fault. I got here first. You were too slow. Next time, wake up a little earlier and maybe you won't miss out. That's what the guy said. That's what the guy said. Maybe the next time you won't, you, you, you won't miss out. All the while, he's got a ton of Star Wars three and three quarter inch figures in his shopping cart. 
teasing the other guy practically. So close, but yet, so far. I seldom get involved in things like this, you know, but I, I, I couldn't help myself. So I asked a guy that had all of the figures. I said, so basically what you're telling us is that you're not going to give us any? You can't, I, I mean, you have all of them. You have multiples in your cart. You can't share any. And the guy looked at me and he says, that's, he said, sir, that's precisely what I'm telling you. I'm not giving you guys, and I got to bleep it out. I got to bleep it out. I'm not giving you guys a bleeping thing. If you guys wanted these guys so bad, you could have did what I did. You could have researched, found out when they were coming out, and you could have went and got them. And he said that, and he turned his cart around, and he left. And that's when the other collector yelled down the aisle way at him. And that's a family show, guys. <laughs> he said, you you bleeping hoarder. <laughs> Collecting versus hoarding. Um, I, ha I have multiple figures. And I had to answer myself on the drive home. Um, I, it, I was really thinking about it, you know, when I have these multiples but i'm not going to a store a lot you know i'm not getting these these figures from a store i'm getting these uh, you know now with a lot of the amigo figures you buy them offline you know and they they're plentiful now but you know let's go back to when target had them solely as exclusives you know target exclusives when target was just selling them um i did a a on location video with the green shirt Kirks that I found, the two green shirt Kirks. I'm the type of guy, if for one, I'm going to share. I'll share. Do I have multiples? Yes. Uh, am I uh, financially blessed in that regard? Yes. But I'll share. If somebody came right behind me and said, hey, are you going to buy both of those Kirks? Because I was looking for one. Could I have one? I would have said, you certainly can. I've done that before. I've done that with the Frankenstein Mego. Um, was that the Wave 2 Frankenstein Mego? I've done that. I've been at Target, saw it multiples. Would have got was had every intention on buying multiples. But share them. Gave it to a fellow collector. Um, it's about growing the hobby. It's about the brotherhood and the fraternity and the spirit of collecting as a collector. You know. Guys, I just want your opinion on it. Um, what's considered hoarding? If you buy a multiple, you know, multiples. And, and like I said, I my place right now, it, uh, I have another room in my collection here at the museum, another collection room at the museum that looks like it, it could be a straight up hoarder. A hoarder's paradise. But what do you consider hoarding? What do you consider collecting? Does your collection room look like a, a hoarder's paradise does it look crazy action figures all over the place laying around um what constitute a hoarder what constitute as a collector um i look at myself as a collector i'm a museum curator and yes sometimes my collection rooms they look crazy <laughs> as you can see i have a lot of figures up here that i just like i said i haven't had uh, time to connect with because I have between my channels and doing my videos and stuff. Sometimes these guys get lost and forgotten. Some days I need to just come down and I do. I'm on vacation so I have more time to do that now where I can just come down and clean up and just kind of sort through a lot of my older figures and reconnect with them. My Superman blue figure is one of those figures. My uh, Gilly my Gilly figure is another one. Is it Gilly or Guile? Tomato, tomato, right? Guys, what's collecting? What's hoarding? 
these are the questions we want answered. Um, people have their own different uh, takes on what's a hoarder. A hoarder is someone that has a lot of mental issues, um, with uh, drawn, withdrawn, depression, and they can't part with anything. Everything means something to to them. So then you get going to a person's house, and it it's they have tons and tons of stuff that they, I mean they're practically barricading themselves uh, or in, entombing themselves in their own homes, you know. And my wife playfully told me she was like, uh, "That's what one of your collection rooms looks like." She like I you know I went down there I couldn't get through anything because of all your stuff. And I told her I, I'll, I'll clean that up. I'll get it cleaned, you know. But as crazy as it sounds, I kind of know where everything's at. <laughs> it looks like a, a a hurricane has hit it, but I kind of know where everything is at. But does that make me a hoarder? I don't know. But we definitely want your take on it. There's my Batman Beyond figure. You know, I see figures from different uh youtube stations and channels or my fellow collectors that they have and then all of a sudden i want them you know or a co fellow collector tell me about uh, a figure that i don't have that i need to have in my collection i'll check it out research it yes i need that figure does that make me a hoarder no i don't think so i don't think so but I think I do know when you buy a ton of figures at a store and with without the intent of keeping them, you know, that makes you something else. You know, that makes you very greedy and selfish. Like that guy said, he the, the guy that took all the figures, well... I'm giving them to other people. Yeah, but I mean, could you share one of these figures with one of these guys in, in the store? You know, and that 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 was the thing. But like the guy said, we should have got up, gotten up earlier, did our research. And we wouldn't you know, we wouldn't have missed out. Right. Collecting versus hoarding. Do you have a ton of things in your collection that you're simply not going to ever a uh, need, but you just simply don't want to part with, but you know, you haven't seen a, a certain, you know, let's say maybe 20 or 30 figures that you just, you know, you wanted them when they first came out and then you just forgot about them. And now they're just sitting, they're just sitting there collecting dust. You're not doing anything with them. Is that hoarding? It's a good question. Why don't you guys provide the answers right underneath this video in the comment section, guys? Um, this is not a, a, a pretty and warm and fuzzy type of a discussion because some it, it'll step on a few people's toes because there are maybe some.